Hey, what's going on everybody? As promised, we're gonna do a review on Quick Steel Thermal Steel. It is um, pretty much inspired by a uh, JB Weld video we did recently to determine the lifespan of high temperature applications with JB Weld. What we're looking at here is a lens that used to occupy this port on the top of my burner which is pretty much going out for the night. It's at a pretty good temperature, I think, to go ahead and put this new lens on. Sometimes it's convenient to just be able to look in there and see whether or not I got the fire stoked good or not. Big, heavy piece of glass I got out of a scope or something. So we're gonna be using this stuff. And basically it just says just to mix it up and put it on there. There's no special, you know, epoxy or nothing to it. It's a water base. So I'm gonna clean that up. We are going to, uh, Put this on there, and we're going to take note of the date. We're also going to look at the attributes of this substance as far as what kind of glue it really is. I mean, I'm interested to see what it is. 2,400 degrees. That's impressive. Some pretty raunchy looking stuff. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. I'm getting ready to stir this stuff up with a screwdriver as suggested by the instructions. Oh man, it's like sand in there. It feels like sand, like sand and syrup. Definitely got to do some serious stirring of this stuff. So I'll be a second. Look at that, man. It is some sandy, gritty stuff. Very, uh, you're not going to make anything pretty with this stuff, I wouldn't say. So I think what I'm going to do it's a water-based substance, they say. I scratched this down earlier, so I'm not going to get all crazy here. I'm just going to put some of this crap on it. I don't like it so far. It's more of just kind of a slime than anything, and I got a bad feeling I'm going to mess my lens up with this stuff. Actually, i tell you what it feels like. It feels like uh, gluing something together with sandcastle. That's exactly what it feels like. Feels like Sandcastle. I'm not digging it. <laughs> not digging it at all. I don't know how this is a glue. I think it's going to beat me to the punch here. I got to better hurry up. Where's the lens? Damn it. Okay. Alright, alright. I guess I could open this and. Uh oh, what'd I do? What is that? Steam? Get steamed out now? I'll get that off there, hopefully, in the back. Even if I can't see through the thing when we're done, the experiment's worthwhile. So, let me put some more sandcastle on the side of this thing, I guess. Yeah, this stuff is very awkward to work with. It's not like a glue. It has very little adhesion. There's like zero adhesion. It's the same consistency of sand and water. If I was to take some sand, some mud, a little bit of mud and some water, that's exactly what I'm playing with here is muddy sand water that I got out of the sandbox. But you never know, this stuff might impress me. We're, we're going to find out. It's getting really hard. I mean really hard. I can feel that layer I already put on there. does have some instructions about uh, exposing it to max heat right away. You're not supposed to do that. I hope I'm within temperature limits. I'm going to take a picture of the uh, how hot this thing is with a thermal gun here in a second. It says it's water-based, but that doesn't mean this is water in here. There could be who knows what kind of gas is going to come off of this and kill me so i don't recommend doing this inside like i am this stuff seems to be more tailored for exhaust systems on cars and it might have some really crazy stuff in it so uh do not uh take this as a foolproof uh demonstration here all right that's pretty funky we're gonna go with it. It's already hardening up in the areas that uh, 
were previously put on there for so there you have it let's take a look at this extraction thing real quick i'm pretty sure that uh what it say there about the heat thing So there it is, very sandy, gritty. It just feels like it looks. Yeah, it says allow to cure for at 80 to 100 degrees. Man, that's an awful narrow window. Are you kidding me? What country are we living in here? 80 to 100 degrees. Extended time in colder environments. Uh, apparently if you're living in Florida, you're all set. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on there, but we'll let the record be set straight here that I'm running at about 126 degrees. I'm also going to put some on something else. I'm not too sure if it's going to hold on to that glass. I think the JB Weld is a better way to go. And as you can see, I did a pretty horrible job putting that on last time. Not very much glue on there at all. It baked the seam. Two years at uh, 500 plus degrees Fahrenheit. And that's where we are. So, I don't know, Quick Steel. I don't like the way you go on, man. I don't think I like this stuff, guys. I'll do some other oddball testing with it. But uh, for now, I think we're going to stick with this test. Because uh, I don't see this stuff gluing anything together. I'm not so sure it's going to stick on anything very well. It, it just doesn't feel like a glue at all. Very strange compound. And any hopes I had of using this stuff as a high temp sealant are destroyed. I had some, uh, I don't know if I could use this for a high temp pipe, pipe thread sealant or not. That was what I was like, you know, really excited about. Because I run into that problem with my builds all the time. Is I can't find a pipe dope that uh, can handle those temps. The temps of gasification, that is. So we'll see what happens here. Um, and I will do a uh, little quick test of this stuff on something that's the actual proper temperature. I doubt 24 degrees is gonna hurt me. I really do. It's probably just gonna increase cure time some. That's not that big of a temperature difference. Okay, so fellas, check it out. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to look at this again tomorrow after it's cured. Check it out. Maybe give this thing a little pull. I'd hate to. Just have to do it over again, but we got to do it. I'm going to give it a little nudge and see how stiff it feels on there. And then when this piece finally falls off, the day it falls off, I'm going to post another video and I will put a link to both videos in both descriptions so that when you go looking for how good this stuff is we'll know i'm also going to put a link in the description for another test with this stuff i'm going to put um, some various uh, nodules of this substance on this burner to see how it behaves some some little knobs on the side you know on my reclaimer and stuff like that but the reason why we're doing this specific video without making it just overwhelmed with content is because of the JB Weld video that pertains to this very eyepiece. I told uh, the viewers that we would, rather than just put JB Weld back on it, let's try a different product. And that's what we've done with the Quick Steel. So tomorrow we'll take a look at it. And then who knows, two, five, ten years from now. If it takes ten years and I still have this channel, I will post that. And some lucky dog's going to be able to figure it out at the click of a mouse. Kind of like with the JB Weld. So yeah, when I first went to buy this uh, JB Weld to put this eyepiece on, I wanted to know how well it would hold up against these heats that may exceed 500 degrees. This thing at most got up to 700, 800 degrees. And uh, this eyepiece lasted two years with JB Weld. Let's see how the quick steel stands up. All right, everybody, so it's the next day. This thing is screaming hot, and the seal doesn't look too bad. I kind of touched on that and pulled on it, and it is a solid connection. 
So far, so good. It does have kind of a nice look to it. Things turn out a lot better than I thought. Man, I gotta get away from that thing. We are like screaming hot here. So, let the process begin. When this thing finally falls off of here, I'm gonna put an update video. I know that sounds stupid now, but if you're watching this video in six years, wouldn't it be cool to find a link in the description that shows how long this epoxy lasted?